Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson. And I'm Brian Sanders. Let's get right to our top stories. Coronavirus deaths have surpassed 300 in Colorado. There are now 308 reported. More than 7,600 people have tested positive for the coronavirus. Only eight counties now are without cases. The goal with our stay-at-home order is to flatten the curve and try to prevent hospitals from being overrun. But Denver Mayor Michael Hancock says there is much more work to be done. We do see some daylight. This is not the time for us to let up, folks. This is the time for us to lean in and, and to put the pedal to the metal, if you will. This is almost like a marathon. Um, by no means are we done, but this is the second of maybe four rounds that we're going to have to do. Stay-at-home order is currently set to expire on April 30th. That's two weeks from Thursday, but that could be extended. For the first time, the state released data on who is being infected with coronavirus when it comes to race and ethnicity. The stats represent 75% of all reported COVID-19 cases. Cases with an unknown race or ethnicity are not being included in this data. So here's what they found. Anglo Coloradans are being impacted the most at 59%. Hispanics come in second at 28%, followed by African Americans at 7%. Asians are among the lowest, coming in at 2%. You may notice big military helicopters landing near downtown Denver in the coming days. Not to be alarmed, the Colorado National Guard is using the helicopters to transport members of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and military personnel to help at COVID-19 alternative care sites. Lisa is here with your first alert forecast. And after a little more light overnight snow, things are starting to clear out and we've got some calmer weather for at least the next couple of days. It's cold though, uh, starting this morning off in the teens, wind chills feel like, well, single digits, down to near zero in some spots along the front range. So it's gonna be a pretty cold start to our Tuesday. It'll be a really slow warm up too. We'll get to near freezing by about 10 o'clock. And then this afternoon highs will be right around 40 degrees, upper 30s to low 40s from Denver at about 40. Highlands Ranch, same thing. Upper 20s to low 30s in the mountains. There is going to be another chance for some snow, though, on Thursday and another pretty big cool down toward the end of the week.